Skype for Business is a powerful tool from Microsoft Office 365 Productivity Suite. It is widely used for communication purpose in three ways. First is within an organization. Second, with external collaborators such as partnering organizations, consultants and more. Third, to hold Skype broadcast with up to 10,000 attendees. It is a unified communication platform that integrates common channels of business communication including instant messaging, file transfer, audio and video conferencing and many more features for better communication. Not long ago, we were required to travel to different cities and towns to meet our clients or remotely located colleagues. Though a lot communication as that of discussions regarding business goals and plans was happening on emails, it was a business challenge since there were delays for certain immediate discussions which needed instant updates, quicker reference to files, presentations or face-to-face -face communication. This business challenge is what Skype for Business has solved. Now, you can easily communicate with your remote colleagues or geographically distant clients without visiting their office premise or bearing any additional travel cost. Microsoft's Skype for Business allows the user to have an audio call, HD video call, file transfer, recording a business call, and many more useful tasks. In this video, I will show you how you can attend any meeting with Skype for Business installed on your desktop. For that, open your Outlook client and open the email having link for the Skype meeting. For example, I had received a Skype meeting request from Meghna. To join this meeting, I need to click on the link mentioned as join Skype meeting. When I will click on the link, a meeting window will pop up. As you are using Skype for Business only for having audio and video call, so you need to select the first option. Then click on OK to join the meeting. The cross shows that mic is muted. To unmute it, click on the mic button. The mic will get unmuted. Here you will be able to see the two participants. This means that Meghna has also joined the meeting with the same link. You can also switch to a different audio device between the meetings. For that, select the call control button. The options will pop up. Select the devices. All the available devices will get displayed. Right now, I have only one device connected with the Skype meeting. If more than one devices are available, you can select the device as per your choice. Once you will select the device, your call will get switched to that audio device. You can also share your screen, co-author documents, add attachments during the meeting and many more tasks with Skype for Business. To know about other useful features of Skype for Business, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.